Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Plays The Witcher 3. Today, I think I said I was going to go meet Connie or Cor... Cor... Corrine? Corrine? Corrine, yeah. Not Connie. It's on the side of the screen, Corona's. Shh, don't worry about it. I'm going to go check up here first, though. Just in case there's side quests or other, you know, such things up here. Attackable guard's always nice, but we don't have to worry about that just now. Uh, also, if there's any, like, signposts up to you. Oh, an Eternal Flame guy. Unfortunately, I can't attack him, which is very unfortunate. But, uh, maybe later. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Witch Hunter. Another person I would like to attack. Like, right now, actually. But, oh, we're fine. We're fine. I'm just gonna look for quests. See if there's any signposts. There's a lootable thing over there. Which, I don't know why that would be in the house, but sure, whatever. And then we'll go talk to Kareen. State your origin. Bellin. Wars on there, sir. Velen's a hive of witchcraft and superstition. Remember, we catch you engaging in black magic. You'll be interrogated and tried. Oh, man. Magic, I want to stab Honest. these guys Honest. like super hardcore. We seek in this city. We've no need for loggers. God, I, I shouldn't do that just yet. We just got here. There might be quests or something that allows me to kill them later. Uh, I don't see anything, though, on the map. Oh, there is a sign, but Electra Square. It could because it's... 1 in the morning, right? So, let's go with the morning time. I kind of forget that NPCs do th different things during the time. So, oh, there is a merchant. Do you have any Gwent cards? Oh, motherfucker. I don't want to... <sighs> the Eternal Fire's blessing upon you and your household. Come, true believer. May its light shine. Watch it, or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. Yeah, I guess drunk says a smell too. Wait, countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. What are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password, signaling you wish to buy some herbs. <laughs> Uh, this subterfuge, what's it about? You're about as much a priest of the Eternal Fire as I am a Vestal Virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. Folks see conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. So, you're yeah, you're a priest of the like flame, this. but you're you not actually like... Robes. See, thing is... Oh, well, you're not. You're faking. Impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. I impersonate no one. I am a priest, though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to recognize. So you're an idiot. Uh, will you report me, or shall we make? I'm a not going to report you to these guys. guys. Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> I'm not going to play you in cards just yet, but uh, I'll check out your hemorrhoid cream. Uh, you have a quest item. Okay. Does it start a quest? Read for additional information. Uh, the Cult of Freya. Sure. What's this? Uh, is that the hemorrhoid cream? I should probably buy that, right? We ride horses a lot. I mean, it's just one of those things you probably want to make sure that you're set. Thanks, dog. Take care. Good luck not to get caught. You're taking a big risk being, one, an idiot eternal priest, and two, uh, selling alchemy at the same time. I feel like that is something you should probably be like, I should just leave. Uh, where's the book? The curious cases of virtuous Vega. Can there be such a thing as a virtuous whore? Vega asked herself this question each and every morning, and each morning swore she would prove to the world that practicing the world's oldest profession does not preclude virtue. This determination argument, argument uh, augmented not only her own troubles, but also those of Gaspar D. Bathing, her mother's longtime friend who, as a personal favor, had hired Vega to work at his establishment, the Golden Garter. Poor Gaspar had to listen to the constant complaints of his customer who would charge into his office and huff about Vega's behavior at the girl's clung firm to her principles in, in her ironclad drive to see through 
She would never perform any with any lights lit and would avert her gaze from the powerful blush upon with a powerful blush upon catching the slight of the male member. Gaspar Scrati's headache, however, was the fact that this virtuous Vega never ever accepted payment in her service. So she Okay. There's a lot to unravel there. There's like one thing being a prostitute for free, if you like really like sex and you don't care about the chances of of catching someone or getting stabbed. And then there's being a prostitute and seemingly trying to be virtuous or something like that. And maybe not actually enjoying the sex part, seeing how she gets super bashful around penises, I guess. And with not making any money, I don't get it. What's this one? Freya Modron, the Great Mother, teaches us to put our faith in her no matter what life brings. Thus, warriors pray to her before setting off for battle, and the women they leave behind pray for their menfolk's safe return. Freya, uh, as mother and goddess, understands all the trials of mankind. She soothes our pains and previous uh, provides comfort, yet woe to him who acts against her and violates her eternal laws, handed down, by the, uh, handed down for the good of men in the world. Condemnation awaits such men. They will be cut off from the life-giving source of motherly love, and if they repair not their ways and and renouncing evil, return to the mother's goddess bosom, they shall be cursed for all eternity, and they they and all their lines. She also will hit them with an ether strike. Uh, I'm assuming that's Stark's quests. Or we'll do absolutely nothing. Alrighty. I think we might be good up here for right now. We haven't seen any quests. We did get unique information from that priest over there, which was, well, pseudo priest alchemist dude over there. Again, that's super confusing because they, weren't they saying that these dipships were going around killing like herbalists? Which isn't witchcraft, <laughs> well, I guess in their mind it is, which, to be fair, they're fucking idiots, but I would love to just walk up here and oh. douse fire all over, uh, not fire, water all over this, just to see their reactions. So this is the, the fire, uh, flame people's, uh, place of, uh, worship, their headquarters. God, I hope we ran second later. It's probably like an optional quest. But it'd be nice. Bless you. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'll make my way down to uh, Kareen down there. And uh, see you guys in a minute. Alright, we're on our way to Corinne, And I uh, kind of just realized that I was pronouncing her name entirely wrong. And I also gave myself oh, shit, I think, gosh. for probably pronouncing it right, maybe? Uh, so we're just gonna forget the first seven minutes of this episode and say hi Burgers? Hamburger. Where, where the hell is she? <gasps> Fist fighting. Oh, I am going Hi What? I'm not a sourpuss. Who's the bookie? Master Claytop? Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah. That's a lot of money, but I mean, it's not, but I'm going to bet all 80. Yeah. I would bet all 2,000 of my coins fellow. if I could, but I have a feeling For that the people here aren't that rich. Please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, George's George. George's George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise. I'm not throwing the fight. I already What's put you? my money up. Uh, I'm all ears. Okay, let me hear what you have to say. How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Nah, I'm not cheating, dog. I... How much more, though? If you're talking like $2 more, that's not cool. Is that considerably, Kronos? I don't know what these peasants know what considerably is. So, like, I don't know. How much is considerably? So, is it... 
Is it like 80 on top of the And Kronos Jr. is supposed to be an honorable man. You're not going to cheat and throw the fire. I'm just saying, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to cheat. All right. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. How? 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 You're fighting an augmented an human who is better than all of you at fighting. George, the pile driver. May the better man win. This is pile driver? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, so I might have totally pressed the wrong button there. Now we just. You're only level 15? You're level 15, Mr. Pile Driver? Really? That's all you are? I just gotta back you into the corner here and just punch the shit out of you. There we go. God, you're an idiot. You're only level 15. The dude, other dude was level like 18, right? We should really fight without walls. That's it, you're in for it. Or have like a referee to call this shit. Definitely feel like we should have a referee to call off like wall punching. The Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Thank you. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt gate. Okay. Well, I'll definitely go check that out in a, well, not now, but in like a minute. All right. Sorry about that. So we got to go upstairs, right? And talk to this dream lady, who. Honestly, I'm surprised she was working so openly with someone, given this whole, you know, burn the witch type deal that's going on in this town. Hi, how's it going? Oh, that's like a title, not your name. All right, cool. Where you at? Hi. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. I'm always answer honest. From your heart. Unless I'm paid otherwise. Uh, dreaming, what is it about? Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. What? My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose... But the house! You were sleeping! It takes skill to set Dreaming. Seed from chaff. Wait. I'm confused. What do you mean? In the haunted house, you were sleeping and having dreams. Your client was outside worrying his ass off. But you know what? Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Dude, you, she Dude, just I told you! This. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met, I trained her at Camorn, saved her life once. She was there when I died. That's the books, right? <laughs> um... I feel like meeting her first and or training her would be a pretty good. I'll go with I remember when we first met. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. 
Would you be willing to share another memory? I'll share all of them. Yeah. Yes. I will share every single goddamn memory wish. here. We have time. It's lore building. I trained her at Kimorn. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina it's couldn't hurt. Couldn't be able to defend yourself no matter what you are. A the stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. Oh, what, she had a date? <laughs> Do you wish to tell me anything more? Uh, yeah. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Uh, saved her life once. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. <laughs> Told her never to try it again. We can learn that skill. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Yeah! I have, more I have one more memory. Then please do. Uh, she was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. She's like, wait, what? You claim the woman has <laughs> abilities. Tell me about them. Church, series of child of the yellow blood. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. Oh, is she a fellow Kronos? Uh, she had trouble controlling them. She's a child of elder blood. She's a child of the elder blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? I mean, yeah, I will say everything. Yeah, there's something else. Uh, they call her the Lady of Space and Time. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know yes, there's I more to it. Tend to zone out as well. Places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say? More? God, I hope this isn't fucking me. <laughs> it's like the more you answer, like the more she'll betray you or something. She had trouble controlling them. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Jennifer tried to teach her to cast simple spells. And Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control. Well, she's probably disappointed in herself. She controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Yeah. No. Also, I've said all I could. There's no more options. The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue. Please. I don't Make like feeling good. human emotions. I'm to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could oh, be fucking this? here, I'd hope. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's probably in Siri couldn't find Gellagrad, right? I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? 
Uh, Yennefer and Triss. Well, if she thought you guys were dead, I would assuming not Yennefer. Triss, maybe? Dandelion? I'm not bar dude, right? Dandelion? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. I need better physics on my skirt. You're just gonna knit? I'm gonna weave me a dream? Oh, hi, Dandelion. Stop yelling at the bird. Oh god, the bird's coming for the eyes! Run! So I take it it wasn't Dandelion? <laughs> oh, okay. Would that have been like Yennefer or Triss if I chose them? Hello? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. Oh yeah. She contacted Dandelion. I remember that. Town. The poet. Poet. About him. He's a spoony bard. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. Can you speak up? The Rosemary and Time. Is that an inn? The Rosemary and Time. Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel. Seems so about I right. Did. Thanks for the help. If you betray me, though, I'll be Thanks back. For your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Are you gonna pay me for saving your ass? Hey, look. If I leave this room, a rope isn't gonna appear there. Why are you standing on that chair? Huh? But like, no, seriously, why are you standing on that chair? Is it a is it a dream witch thing? Yes. It is. Okay. Bye. You have anything I can steal? You're not gonna get mad if I go through your shit, will you? Ah, uh, get your ladle. And your cow milk. And more of your cow milk. Why do you have two things of cow mu milk in your dresser? You know what? Don't answer that. I turned off your lights. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Why are you standing up? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'll loot more of this stuff up here. I'm pretty sure this is, like, illegal. But that's fine. Uh, Alright, so we gotta go do Rosemary Time. That wasn't the horror, uh, brothel that we were at last time, was it? I wasn't about to say whorehouse. That'd be rude. Ha, <laughs> see, man. Uh, so yeah, was that the place we were last time? Because I'm old as fuck, dog. Also, you can't just say that. Hey, do you have any, uh, Gwent cards? What it be? Gwen cards. What are you serving? Gwen cards. <laughs> what do you have? So we got an elf card. Neat. Right. And six strength. We got siege technician. Choose one of the cards from your discard pile and play it instantly. Ooh. Uh, another elf card. Another elf card. Someone seems to like elf cards. Farewell. All right. Where is this? Rosemary and Time. That is not the place I was at last time, was it? All right, well I'm gonna head down there. What? What? Hey! Hey! Finish off. Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm killing this guy apparently. Oh, uh, that guy's stuck in the barrel apparently. Oh, that's that's all right, lady. I wasn't uh just saving your ass or anything like that. Oh, he is dead. Okay, then you have the sword. Didn't really need that club. Or that club. Hey, did, you're not the lady. You're an old man. 
Are you in the house? That's locked. All right, cool. Guess we're gonna come down there now. Uh, I didn't know this game was gonna have Yakuza like events, but sure. The hell? Oh, I thought that was Dandelion for a second, walking like that. Uh, same hat, almost. Hi, drunk. How's it going? The place is kind of creepy. And by creepy, I mean kind of a shithole. I mean, I guess it is kind of a big city, but still. I'm not really a fan of cities, to be quite honest. I mean, times. Sometimes it's been alright, but in general, it's just been. Well, wait, am I level. No, I'm not. I, I thought I was level enough for that axe, but no, most of the time it's been pretty. Ah, shit-tastic. Is this the door? You mean locked? Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Who said that? Who said that shit? I will fucking end them! I'll never come back, you stinking scaddies! All we wanted was... Wait. Don't give a flying fuck! Oh, fist fighting? Fist fighting! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! I... Girls like memories. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. What? All right. Time for some spring cleaning. Really? You guys want to die this much, huh? Put them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Am I using my swords or am I just punching? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm using my. If, okay, he's using his axe. Oh, never mind. He put his axe away. Never mind. Ow! Motherfucker. You know. Oh, I can't do that in a fist fight. I mean, this axe is not allowed during combat. It's how I. Motherfucker. Stop punching me in the back of the head! It's gonna cause a concussion! Ah, uh, pleased. That went well. Now we can treat each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Age. Uh, I'm looking for Siri. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Oh yeah, and we Sometimes. heard about the wild hunt after her. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some. Is this not a brothel? What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay, well, I gotta drink my water to regain my health. I'm assuming that book that was shining during the cutscene is probably gonna be uh, of importance. Maybe this crystal essence as well. Ah, a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage <laughs> red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning call. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Letter from female Amara. All right. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage hot and red. 
I read in HUD, the whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into pure sex, the imbibing its nectar. The music, oh, this is the same letter he just read. The music, the singing you, for that one brief moment, I felt as if I was, if I were the lute, you were skillfully strummed, and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning chords. Uh-huh. All right, we'll, we'll get that book in a second, because that's clearly inborn. Anything else I can loot? Oh, there's more red stuff over here. All right, and here's where my uh, my axe is. It's level 14, right? Yeah. Now I gotta repair it too. That is gonna be such a big improvement. I can't wait to have it. I should probably clear out some of my uh, inventory again at some point. We are getting close. Not close, close, but we're getting close-ish. Nose is too small. Hey, <laughs> the sword's too big. By the by, <laughs> is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern. <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go get the book first because it was the first thing I saw, so I figured it would start there. But apparently, there's multiple red things in the room, so we'll uh, we'll go in order. We'll loot this, and then the the uh, what's it called? The barrel. Mm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Uh, it's starting to look like a man serious about his business. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Uh, that could help. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Such a... Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you okay. Anything, I'll be next door. Uh, read Dandelion's... Okay, so what about those things? Interact. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. Anything else that's red? Loot. Letter from that. Dear Viscount, once more, I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to my, grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. Your presence warmed our hearts. The sweet notes of which you serenaded us touched my wife's uh, mother. Oh, God. Did you touch their wife's mother? Maybe. Uh, Rosa Var thing. Uh, like a rose abashed for its crimson hues, Fair Rose would sink into a humorous blues. She stun shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Molly Holly, though we well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not the straw when gripped in lessons brace. All right, roll in the hay, I got it. Vespula, those timid in looks, no adventure did she skip. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Is that like the Cleveland Steamer? Uh, Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. <laughs> it's rude! Uh, Ilithol? Ilo Ilithol? A figure most rare, her nature duel. Uh, look, keep, look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Taylor shop across from Tannery. Cool beans. 
Anything else I can steal? Hey, level up. I should probably go check that out, right? I mean, this is a brothel. This is a tavern. I mean, maybe it's a brothel and a tavern. Though I, this little mat on a freaking wood. No, thank you, dog. My back's already hurting thinking about it. Okay, so we gotta go find these ladies. Let's check the map real fast. Okay, so they're all in town, right? One of them is... Oh, talk to Zoltan. Okay. Oh, we can do that too. I thought one of them was in the building, but sure, we can go talk to him after I loot all this shit. Because what's Dandelion is mine. Whether he knows it or not, he'll share. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice because I'm stealing it anyways, but he'll share. What's in this? Oh, fa fair enough. This place is pretty stocked. Is this like the servants' quarters? Or are you charging people to sleep in the supply room? I'm hoping not, because that is horrible business practice. One, they could just steal the supplies. Two, who the hell... Gwent card? Would actually, like, pay for that room. Can I steal those Gwent cards, please? No? Alright. That's bullshit, but alright. Oh, another floor? No. Not really. Ladder? Not ladder. I thought for a second I could get over there. Now I'm stuck. Oh yeah, ability point. Let's come here. Uh, let's see, I didn't unlock anything. I guess I could put into you, because we're working on that now. Thank you. Do you want to get a better red mu mu mutation or mutagen, not mutation? I guess it's kind of the same thing, but yeah, I want more red mutagens. So I guess I gotta find werewolves and stab the shit out of them, huh? Maybe. Hey, Zoltan, how's it going, man? Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Uh, Molly Holly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge full brother station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, <laughs> examines it from all perspectives. Uh, Maribel! If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Okay. Truly really perverse. <laughs> Didn't you, Didn't you f it. have a stuffed unicorn? Former stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Huh. Uh, Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw <laughs> flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Uh, this one? Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue. Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf? Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? I guess. All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. 
had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Pretty sure I got him in trouble, too. No, that, that was the, the steward. And her sister, in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Lovely. Uh, this one? A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Wait, does that mean you like, like, really old people? You know, that's fine. No, no all well, I wanted to know. know. about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right, so our closest one it seems to be Vespula. Yeah, so I guess we'll go check her out first. God, I want to kill you guys so bad. Uh, but all right, let's... Uh... Oh, she's outside of town. Over here? Uh, out in the field. Oh, bandits. Lovely. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. All right. So everyone What's gets stabbed. For, stupid wench. What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? I don't have shiny That's armor. Enough. I have a shiny blade, though. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Uh... She's got new protection. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good Fine by me. Just cheap shit. One second. Burn, baby, burn! One second, 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 I gotta get back against the board there, and then just do, do, ow, and then do this! Yeah, that's right. You? Hi, how's it going? Headbutt? With what head? Where's the other one? Oh, he's dead? Do, 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 Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. <laughs> it was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. What do you mean? Uh, it will come off. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar. But that's not my point. Why can I see it? the trees through Either your shoulders? I shot myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. And you wanna just go kill this junior guy? I need to ask you about Dandelion. I don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with Seriously, a what's with your shoulders? Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. Yeah? Horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prized bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And... No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. 
I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Nice. Uh, he asked me about the washerwoman? Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Maybe. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Uh, who was at the who was he with at the harbor? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. <laughs> corsets so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too comfortable. Now here corsets are very uncomfortable. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Uh, thanks. Good luck. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped Really? Off. That's dumb. Good luck, though. Glad I could save you from those guys. I gotta go loot them. Um, hopefully I get around to killing whoever this whore son is. Ooh, yes, please. Thank you. What's here? Smoking pipe, sure, why not? And over here. Grill, grilled pork? Give me that grilled pork. Thank you. And last but not least. Uh, more smoking pipe. Alright, cool. Uh, anything else here or what? What's new, Witcher? Uh, nothing. Good luck's an awkward fern. Yeah, hopefully we get around to killing this horse on person. Because one, his might attack me randomly in the streets, and two. Uh, he seems like a dick. So, Ellie Hall is apparently this way. Let's go check her out. <sighs> okay. I don't know why, but I, for a second there, I thought they were doing like a Snow White thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's just one of those things that seemed kind of odd. Thank you for that. Hi, peasant. Knock, knock, knock. I didn't mean to light your house on fire. Welcome. Welcome. Do oh, hi. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, he might be. So it's that. Wait here. <laughs> okay. Any better? So you're. You need help with your makeup. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Yeah, with that makeup, I would have to think. And then... It's just what too happened? much, man! What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Uh, when'd you last see him? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When'd you last Those see him? Those are easy fixes. Some what the hell is he, ago, lazy? He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Pockets are important. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Uh, what did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. 
The witch hunters nabbed him recently, okay. burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Probably ow. Did, sucks flaccid cock. That's a good message. I mean, this is kind of personal, but sure, why do you dress this way? I know this is none of my business. It's not. Why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. Yeah, in some regards. A countess one day, a doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment. I don't like to commit crimes. I mean, no, never. Being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Uh, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Or are you good with armor? Like, how much protection are we talking here? Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Yeah. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Neat. Once I'm done... Seriously, that's way too much blush. At all. And eyeshadow. And eyeliner. Um... Uh, just clothes? Ooh, what's this? Wolf mask? Yes. Uh... Holocaust mask? Yeah. Uh-huh. Cool. So I got those. I mean, these are nice. Don't really offer much protection or crotch room for that matter, but all right, well, we're done. Bye. So long. Little goes a long way, all right? I'm just saying, little goes a long way. If you like it, it's fine, but you'd save money on makeup, your face would break out less, and that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.